I'm really keen on trying to be a part of creating a more sustainable society. I fell in love with algae. Uh, immediately thought that this will be my way of uh, contributing to a more sustainable society to create sustainable solutions. My name is Sofie Jallert. I'm one of the founders and Swedish Algae Factory CEO. So we are at the Swedish Algae Factory's pilot facility. And here we are cultivating algae. And the type of algae that we are cultivating is called diatoms. The mission of Swedish Algae Factory is basically to harness and showcase the power of nature. So we're working with the unique material from algae that can be utilized for increasing the efficiency of solar panels, but also as a more sustainable product in personal care. Our team combined has over 100 years of experience in algae research, chemistry and uh, engineering. We were all uh, passionate about the environment before starting this project and active in these fields. The first step is that we cultivate the algae and make them grow and that we do on nutrient-rich water from a land-based fish farm. And we also get uh, carbon dioxide naturally from the fish in the air. And uh, that combined with the nutrients makes the algae grow. And during the process of algae growth, we then clean water that is uh, turned back to the fish farm and also produce oxygen to the fish. Then, after the algae have grown to a certain step, we harvest the algae and the harvested biomass is then transferred to our reactor. In the reactor, we separate this shell material from the algae, that is our product, that can be utilized to increase the efficiency of solar panels, but also as a more sustainable ingredients for moisturization and absorption, for example, in personal care products. And after we extracted the shells, we have the, the organic biomass left, and that can be utilized to feed the fish more sustainably, because this biomass is really rich in nutrients and omega-3 rich oil. So this is our product, so this is the shell of diatoms. It's made of silica and have a really unique nanopore structure that we humans have trouble synthesizing. This material can be utilized to enhance the efficiency of solar panels, though it's naturally designed for taking up light really efficiently, but also blocking away UV light and manipulating light towards longer wavelengths. But it's also really good at absorbing and releasing different kind of chemical substances, which is useful in the personal care sector. If everyone would utilize this in solar energy applications, we can actually reduce carbon dioxide emission. And when it's utilized in skincare products, for example, then we can make sure that no bad chemicals are released to fishes and on their ocean lives. This project is in pilot phase, but in the pilot facility we have, we have been able to start selling our material in the personal care sector to some uh, local brands. But we are now, uh, next year, starting to scale up to a full commercial scale, and that will also enable us to start selling this material in the solar energy sector. So I'm really proud of what we are doing, since we are really helping with uh, contributing to a more sustainable society and the innovation that we have uh, created.